So I got me another bow. This one is also um, a blueberry, but it's a little uh, a little stronger than the other one, and it's going to hold the tension a little better, I believe. Okay. So I got my sawdust in there. And we're going to give this a shot again. Careful not to break the spindle. Got, uh, it's greased at the top, of course. And I know it's not going to cause any friction at the top because it's, it's pipe stone. This one's working pretty good. Let's see if I can't just keep going. Got a coal. Very nice. So this is my ever first fire hack of poison hemlock. Poison hemlock on western red cedar. Five eighths of an inch as a bow drill. And you can see that is definitely a coal. To the hand drill. All right, so I made two changes. Um, I've made a smaller diameter. Uh, I've made a smaller diameter uh, poison hemlock uh, reload on this three eighths inch bamboo chopstick, and this smaller reload is seven sixteenths of an inch, which is more my size for spinning. Now, you'll say that 3 eighths of an inch is smaller than 7 sixteenths, which means that I'm actually getting more rotation per spin uh, than I would just spinning a larger 7 sixteenths. So the outside ring of the 7 sixteenths is actually spinning faster than I would spin it um, at 7 sixteenths because I'm spinning it at 5 eighths diameter. The second thing I've done is I've changed the base to uh, Western Red Cedar, okay? And uh, I have a, um, a socket here with a notch ready to go that I've used previously. You can see here in the notch, there's nothing in there. I'm basically starting all over again from scratch for this hand drill, okay? It's not even mated. You can see the where the lumen of the base is, it's not burned. It's not burned inside. So I'm basically gonna uh, refill this whole thing Again, starting from scratch, okay, just a little dust just to get that, fill that space a little bit. Okay, see that's not smoking. Okay, let's, uh, this is my fourth, right, fourth attempt at a spin. I'm going to get a little higher on this too. So I can get a little bit more body weight on it. Again, I'm I'm not at a hundred percent right now. I'm not at my best. I'm a little out of practice. You can see the dust forming pretty nicely in the notch. If I could just keep this up, you should do pretty good. Let's get some good spin on that. we got it. Yes, we got a coal. Get that smoke out of here. Again, this is the Jackass Toxic Poison series, which I should not be doing. We got the fan going on the side. And this is my first ever fire hack of poison hemlock, but this time it's a hand drill. We just did bow drill. So as you can see, poison hemlock can and does work as a friction fire device if you can balance all of the 
all of the uh, variables. Okay? Thanks. Let's keep going.